G'day everyone, Prep Aussie here. I hope you're all well in whatever part of the world you're watching this video. Today is the 30th of March 2017 and the time is 1328 WAST. Okay folks, many months ago I told you that we were going to have some big earthquakes and we did have a big earthquake after I said so as soon as the earth got out of the grip of the alignment that we we're in. Um, as you can see, I've taken this back to March. The reason I've taken it back to March is because um, if you look at the months going around, earth is being trapped in an alignment pretty well all the way around until now. Still caught in these alignment traps, but this is where it gets particular. This is the 31st of this month. And we're still dealing in a, a triangulation type of event. But then if you go to next month, we have 100% moved out of that. So let's look at the date. Will we move out? 5th. So today is the last day, sorry, we're on the 29th. So we've got all of June. Nah, maybe not, hang on. We are now the 29th. So we've moved out. We're still in this triangulation. Earth has to go past here. So that it's on its own. So let's find out when that date is. No, not the 31st. Let's go for the 4th. No, we're still in line. Eighth. No, still in line. 23rd. Oh, we're starting to get there. As you can see, nearly there, 30th. So, from the 24th to the 30th is when we break the chain. Well, actually, the say the 21st, 22nd, third, uh, 24th is actually pretty well the cutoff day we start to come out of this triangulation. What that's going to mean is Earth is going to start getting hammered, absolutely hammered with heavy earthquakes. And we are going to have a huge earthquake somewhere because we haven't had a proper earthquake until that last one that I told you about, which was three months ago. So the earth is going to be standing on its own to here and it is going to get absolutely hammered. All that pent up energy is going to unleash and we are going to have one hell of an earthquake somewhere. And we're also going into another triangle. We're going out of a triangulation, and there's another triangulation going on. And unfortunately, we're going to get caught in the middle of it. So, just a heads up. Okay. This is the that is impossible channel. Um, and just watch this.
This was filmed in um, Cambridge in the UK, but just watch this again. Interesting, isn't it? And then that is the sun coming up. Not the sun going down, I believe. Okay. Let me show you why it caught my attention. Doesn't look like anything much at all, does it? But in actual fact, it is a plasma cloud. Can you see the objects there? I'll go through it and you can watch it. You see it? The interesting thing here is that if you actually look just beyond it, you can see something is there. The interesting thing is that this was lit up by the sun. And that's why it's revealing itself. Now, can you see just there and just behind it and just here? Keep looking. A presto dingo. Look at the size of these things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven big planets all in a row. A diddle diddle. Cat in a fiddle. Now you can see them. Amazing, eh? Who would have thought? But the only reason you're seeing them is because the plasma cloud was there and the sun has lit up the plasma cloud. Otherwise, you would not have noticed it at all unless you were kind of looking for it. And these guys didn't even know what they'd filmed, which was just amazing. He does do some good stuff. That is impossible. He doesn't do anything but testing or anything, but he does do some good stuff on his shows. And there you have it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven planets all in a row. There's no denying it, folks. Okay, let's go to the next one. If you remember, I said, just watch. 
and watch this one. Sorry about that. Okay. Now, remember I said, uh, I think I might have seen the sun coming up before, but I think I'm pretty sure it's going down, actually. Now, just watch the sun. Yeah, it's hard to know at this time of the year, isn't it? I don't know when this was recorded. It might have been recorded in the middle of winter in England. Oh, I know. Doesn't seem like there's much to look at there, does there? But let's have a look. Let's have a closer look. Okay, this is that sun going down or coming up. Who knows? I don't know. It doesn't say, so um, I can't tell if that's west or east, just looking at the video. But let's have a closer look at it, eh? Notice the big black spots here. Look at this. Interesting. Can you see what I see? See this thing here? The perfectly formed circle. You see the ones here? One over here, some over here. Um, someone said to me the other day that if they were that big, then we'd be having problems in Earth with the earth. Well, I don't know whether I'm doing something wrong or what, but in my opinion, we are now seeing these things, well, I'm seeing these things a lot. It doesn't seem to be too much that you can do to get away from that fact anymore. Okay, that's with the contrast. That's too much sun, too much brightness, sorry. Now, remember, some of these won't show themselves because the sun's not at the right position because they don't have any heat. But that is not normal. And if you want my opinion, there's another one just there. And there's one there, and there's another one there. That's why I love doing live testing. So let's see what the, the color chart shows us. Hey, presto, bingo. There's one there, that's one there, there's some more here, and there's definitely some over here. I said to everyone the other day, maybe we might need to start reanalyzing our thoughts about how far away or how much is actually coming into Earth's atmosphere or elliptical plane. See that? That's not a cloud, folks. See that? That's not a cloud, folks. Let's do it this way. That is definitely no cloud. And neither is that. Neither is that. Neither of those.
whatever this is and whatever that is, they are absolutely humongous. That is not a cloud. 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 They're here, folks. You just got to look in the right spot. Now I'm going to show you something that Maureen from South Australia, you know, more sent in to me. And she's been sending me quite a little bit of information lately. Um, videos and still shots, etc. Um, internally, I've been sending them to the Nibiru Leadership Group and we've been looking at them and keeping an eye on it. The interesting thing is that this is what she sent me. Sorry. This is what she sent me. And this is what I had to look at. And you're all going, prep your nuts. There's nothing on there except dark, shitty Adelaide skies in the middle of winter. Well, I'm going to confound you. And I'm going to say, maybe you're right, but maybe you're wrong. This is what she sent me. This is a still shot from her video. Whoops. This is an inverted shot. Doesn't really show much, does it? That's uh, value inverted. Doesn't really show you much, does it? But if you're looking for the right things, then you know what to look for. And this is value inverted and inverted. Interesting. And then this is, whoop, wrong one. And this is gamma testing. Folks, these are, these are there now all the time. If you're prepared to look for them, as the sun's going down and the sun is in the right spot and it reflects off these planets, you will definitely see them 100%. They're there every day. Can't miss them. But notice how low these are to the horizon. They're not high in the horizon. They're about... Uh, 15 degrees off the horizon. That's taking it, con sharpening it up, contrast and brightness. I hope you guys can see all this. Let me make it a bit bigger for you. There you go. And more knows where to look for these now and she is filming them all the time all the time i'm happy to say because she's a clever little vegemite this is a hue test and all this does is basically uh changes the the color of the background or the foreground, sorry. And it just highlights the image. That's it. It's not really manipulating image that much. Um, it doesn't change the shape of these, let me put it that way. But it just makes a different color off the reflection. So it might show up in blue, yellow, green, pink, or red but dependent on how the sun shined on it, if that makes sense. This was in Adelaide a couple of days ago. I believe it was on Saturday, just gone, because it was absolutely cats and dogging it in Adelaide that day. 
I know this because the Dockers got flogged by 100 points by the Dirty Crows, so I remember it well. Look, folks, there's no denying that. And if you're wondering why the colour changes, it's exactly like I told you. It might have been on uh, the purple one or whatever as I was going around. So it just changes the colour. Um, so to highlight the colour that best suits the image. Okay. The other day, I had a lovely young lady from Canada send me some images. I'm going to show them to you now. Her name is Lisa. Thanks, Lisa. Appreciate it very much, Lee. And these are her words. May 25th, she took these pictures herself. And I will now go through these pictures and show you. because I tested them. See the actual planets in the background there. Lisa nailed it. This was in the afternoon, I believe. And it was on the same day that the image on Soho ahead showed up the other day with these three orbs. Um, the only thing was, uh, and oh, in my opinion, it's not these. Um, I don't think it's those because the ones that we were looking at from Soho ahead were down here. Okay, and these might be them. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. But it's now very obvious that there was something there. I won't go to that one, I'll go to this one. You see these? This is an enormous amount of planets here, folks. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. There is an absolute humongous cluster just here. Maybe it was this one, I say. Yeah, this is exactly what I mean about the different shading showing up different objects. Notice the blue one over here. This doesn't change. Okay, back in business. Right, I got to that one, I did that one. I did that one, didn't I? Right, now we're getting down to it. Put it on 100, so you can see it properly. Can clearly see that and there's a big blue one over here They don't change, folks. They don't go anywhere. And that's my comment to Lisa.
but I don't know. These are with the light chucked up to the full extent. But you can still see these even though the light is on high. So I've taken it up just about to the top that it can go to, the brightness. So I've exposed the light, you know, the light exposure is more. You can still see these. That is not a good sign. That's a pretty good one. It shows you everything you need to see, really. Look at the size of it. Look, these are these are not small, folks. These are actually massive. Last one. This was the best one. Look at how many are sitting there in the background. That is scary. And this is the big blue one over here. This was a video that someone sent to me. I can't remember who. Um, and it's from BP Earthwatch. Now, I found it pretty interesting. It's not a very long video. It goes for three minutes, three and a half minutes. Um, but what I'm going to show you is from those videos, or from that video. So all I'm going to do is just click through these, and you'll get the picture. <laughs> if you want to stop it at your end later, you can stop and have a look at it. Yeah, I don't know why that's a complete circle with another dot in the middle of it. It's a bit odd to me. Notice the planets. Now, it's my belief while you're watching these that when this, this happens, I believe that it's showing us something because it's going over the top of things like that. Can you see the size of that? Now, it'd be easy to say that that is just nothing. And what do I know? I'm no expert. But I believe that when these go over these, you can actually see them because it's basically irradiating them. Like that. And that. And that, that was the one we were just looking at a minute ago. And those three. One, two, three. Not too sure about that one. It looks like the same one because it's got a sphere with another pimple on it. And it's hard to see once you go out. And that. Back to the beginning. If 
folks. That's no illusion. I don't do illusions. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. God bless us all. Speak soon. Rip out.